As drummers, we can all fall into the trap of playing the same licks and same chops the same way every single time. As a result, your playing can become stale and you can get bored with your own drumming. But if we hunt a little bit deeper, we can find a whole world of new stickings to explore. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you three underused stickings that'll make great fills and great grooves. Now for each sticking that we're gonna to do today, we're gonna to play one fill and one groove. However, you can explore this fully and you should definitely go and take these and just run with them and see what you can come up with. One of the most common and fun stickings to play on the drum kit is a six stroke roll. It goes right, left, left, right, right, left. We've got two accents either side. It sounds awesome as a fill, but it's always played like this. What we can do though is we can take one half of the six stroke roll and use that as a new sticking. And we're gonna take the second half, which is gonna be right, right, left. For the first fill, we're gonna play this through 16th notes, so it fits five times with one left over. And we're gonna do a concept called sweeping. Now sweeping is where you split a double between two different surfaces. It could be snare drum floor tom, it could be tom two down to floor tom, it could even be right cymbal down to floor tom. And that's what we're gonna to do today. So we're gonna take our fill, I'm gonna play right hand on the right cymbal, right hand on the floor tom, and then a big left. So right, right, left. We do that five times. Right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left. And then just one more right at the end, right, which is gonna be the out of four. That sounds like this, slow and then fast with a groove. Now, like I said, each sticking could also be a groove. So for this one, let's keep it in 16th notes, but just take the right hand, put it on the hi-hat, and let's play a left hand rim click. So we get one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, and we'll put a little right hand hi-hat lift at the end. This is cool for reggae, for drum and bass, for like trip hop stuff, or even just putting a little bit inside your groove. Here it is slow and then faster. Now for our second underused lick today, we're gonna to visit one of my favorite stickings, which is right, left, right, left, left kick. But we're gonna change it a little bit. Now when I think of linear stickings, that could be right, left kick, it could be right, left, kick, kick, I think of them as number combinations. So right, left, kick is just a two plus one, two hands plus one foot. And then right, left, kick, kick is two plus two. Once you start zooming out and seeing them as bigger numbers, well then you can start to change what those numbers represent. So for our second lick today, let's change the five from right, left, right, left, left to right, left, right, right, left. Small change, massive difference. So let's play it four times as 16 note triplets and accent all the singles. That's gonna give us a really off kilter sounding fill. Sounds like this slow and then with a groove. Now this sticking, cause it's triplets, will sound great as like a half time shuffle variation. So instead of playing the kick drum, why don't we substitute in the left foot? So we're gonna have right, left, right, right, left, left foot. Just as before, we'll take the right hand, put it on the hi-hat, play the left hand on the snare drum. Now I'd probably play this on only beats one or beat three of my bar. I wouldn't do the whole groove using this.
For the final lick today, let's visit a para diddle diddle. Now, para diddle diddle usually has one accent, sounds pretty cool. It's usually played the same way, like all of these licks. But let's flip it. Let's put the singles at the end. So instead of right, left, right, right, left, left, it's gonna go right, right, left, left, right, left. Let's pop those two singles, and then let's play it through 16th notes. So that'll fit twice with four left over, and our four is gonna be right, left, kick, kick. But to mix things up a little bit further, let's take that four and put it in the middle. So we have diddle, diddle, para, right, left, kick, kick, diddle, diddle, para, or six, four, six. Now for this one, I'll leave the orchestration up to you, but here it is, slow and then fast with the groove. Now for the groove, let's put it all up on the hi-hat and come down with that first right as a backbeat. I would probably play this twice and then leave the four at the end and just sort of improvise what the four does. All these chops and licks are fun, but they won't sound great unless you can floor around the drum kit. So in this video, I outline the different ways I improve my floor around the drum kit so I can play on any drum kit and feel super, super comfortable. You're gonna to wanna to check it out.